diphtheria is a fatal disease and early treatment can prevent mortality in this video we will discuss about the diphtheria case management diphtheria case management consists of isolation of patient sample collection antibiotics therapy administration of diphtheria antitoxin supportive measures and immunization as needed during convalescence after diphtheria is suspected patients should be kept in strict isolation if facilities are not available for droplet isolation screens should be placed between patients to limit potential transmission and limit contact between the case and other patients in the health facility after diphtheria is suspected two throat swabs should be taken as soon as possible remember that samples can be taken up to 4 weeks of onset of sore throat and treatment should not be delayed while waiting for laboratory results antibiotics therapy antibiotics therapy is recommended in case management of diphtheria antibiotics have no impact on already established toxin induced lesions but limit further bacterial growth and the duration of chorine bacterial carriage that often persists even after clinical recovery patients who can swallow erythromycin 40 to 50 mg per kg body weight per day in four divided doses maximum 2 g per day orally for 14 days or azithromycin 10 to 12 mg per kg body weight once daily maximum 500 mg per day orally for 14 days patients who cannot swallow benzyl penicillin g 1 lakh iu per kg body weight per day in four divided doses maximum 4 million iu per day intramuscular or intravenous for 14 days or erythromycin 40 to 50 mg per kg body weight per day in four divided doses maximum 2 g per day intravenous for 14 days intravenous or intramuscular administration of equine derived dat is highly effective and is the gold standard for diphtheria treatment to reduce complications and mortality by neutralizing the free toxins dat should be administered as soon as possible after disease onset preferably intravenously in serious cases antitoxin dose should be mixed in 250 to 500 ml of normal saline and administered slowly over 2 to 4 hours closely monitoring for anaphylaxis recommended dose is the same for adults and children 20000 to 40000 units for pharyngeal or laryngeal diphtheria of less than 2 days of duration 40000 to 60000 units for nasopharyngeal diphtheria 80000 to 1 lakh units for extensive disease of 3 or more days duration or patients with diffuse neck swelling remember that the entire therapeutic dose of dat should be administered at one time less than 1% of patients are allergic to horse products hence sensitivity tests should be performed before administration of dat intradermal test inject 0.1 ml of dat diluted in 1 and 10 sterile water for injection intradermally into the flexor surface of the right forearm inject an equal amount of sterile water for injection as a negative control on the flexor surface of the left forearm a positive test is a wheel with surrounding erythema at least 3 mm larger than the negative control test read at 30 minutes in case of negative skin test the treatment may be started in case of positive skin test diphtheria antitoxin may be administered after desensitization and or under the cover of anti anaphylactic drugs supportive management of complications with particular attention to the airway and cardiac manifestations are an important part of case management patients should be nursed in strict isolation and should be attended by staff with documented immunization histories protective immunity does not always develop after recovery from disease therefore individuals recovering from diphtheria should complete the age appropriate recommended course of diphtheria toxoid vaccination during convalescence early diagnosis and treatment of diphtheria cases can save lives